T minus 16 hours until Beth comes to pick Liam up. And of course, I am a productivity YouTuber with videos about time management, etc. Obviously, I've got everything very ready to be picked up tomorrow and I'm completely packed and haven't not yet packed a single thing. <laughs> Which is indeed the situation I find myself in. Also, big up to Beth. She is indeed coming to collect me because I've grown far too attached to the lovely Gauthier and Jean-Baptiste to leave them behind. Also, I've accumulated quite a lot of stuff since I got here. Time to do some packing. And also just to give you a little bit of a flavor of what this video is gonna be, just some general moving back to the UK vibes, loads of fun with Beth in the car, hopefully, and some just general reflections on life in Paris, how I found it, thoughts about moving back to London, thoughts about becoming a lawyer. Just thought, bit of fun, moving back to the UK, should probably document this. So yeah, enjoy. Ooh, and lots of satisfying time lapses. So yeah, I've used this last week in Paris to record a couple of videos to release over the next few weeks while Beth and I are away on our incredible trip around Southeast Asia. I have quite a few different lights that I use to light my face, the background of videos, and then little lights for pops of color that I need to box up to take home. I also got a fancy desk chair that's even better than my Ikea chair that I have in London, so I want to take that back too. Not gonna lie, my luggage is about 20% clothes, 80% plants, lights, and other desk, filming, etc. paraphernalia. So, my last night in Paris, and uh, yeah, it feels kind of strange. It's like, oh, gonna miss these streets. This is my favorite bakery, closed not to be seen again until I am next in Paris. Bye, Shimunye. You. you know, I thought I'd just share a couple of highlights from my time here. I think the way I've got on with the team I've been in has been absolutely incredible, and a couple of <laughs> work parties have been you know, real highlights on the work front. But I think, you know, just really meeting and getting to know the people that I've been here with for the last six months now has just been absolutely incredible. I feel like I really now want to go back to London and try and make strong relationships with the people I work with there too, because I've done it so well here and it's been just so amazing. Uh, going down to the south of France to a house like with a bunch of people I work with, so yeah, coming out of COVID, kind of, obviously work was a bit weird in London. Uh, I think things are back to normal now. So yeah, really excited to kind of go back and hopefully take back, yeah, the ability to kind of make amazing friends in a work context and do stuff like go on holiday with them and go on nights out with them. Yeah, just making everything a bit more enjoyable rather than just kind of constantly grinding. So yeah, that's my little nugget. Gonna go and have dinner now with Hannah, who is the only other remaining trainee in Paris. Everyone else has left. Gonna have a nice dinner, farewell dinner, and then, yeah, go and probably finish packing like 70% done, lol. <laughs> but hey, we'll get there. Morning team. I am now T minus about two and a half hours from Beth getting here. She had a little bit of a stressful morning getting to <laughs> get the ferry to get here, but she is on her way. She is in France now, which is super exciting. And yeah, I'm so excited to see her. I mean, doing long distance for the last six months, I think has been tough for me. I think it's been way tougher for her living like our life together back in London, but on her own without me. And so I am so excited to see her and get to give her the biggest hug and just get to spend the next three weeks away traveling to together and have an amazing time. But enough, you know, <laughs> positivity and thinking about how great that's gonna be. And time to be getting on with <laughs> quite a considerable amount of packing and tidying up this apartment still to do before I need to leave in a few hours. And Finna, Jean-Baptiste, Gauthier, and Pierre are ready for their travels. So I am now, I think officially, fully packed. I have, as you can see from, if you clicked on this video, just been taking a thumbnail shot. So, you know, job done. And oh, I'm gonna miss this parquet floor. I have to put these gross rugs back down that I moved out of the floor, like when I got here. But this parquet floor, I'm gonna miss. While I wait for Beth, I thought I'd just quickly fill you in on one of the things I'm super excited to be back in the UK for. That's HelloFresh, who are also sponsoring today's video. I often get in from work fairly late, so having a HelloFresh box arrive with amazing recipes and clear instructions that even I can follow makes eating tasty, healthy food easy. HelloFresh deliver all the ingredients you need straight to your door, so Beth and I know we'll have a few meals sorted every week without having to go shopping or find recipes. 
I don't have a ton of time during the week around my job and businesses, so the fact that meal prep takes 20 minutes or less is a complete lifesaver. Plus, they have a great range of meals to choose from, so it keeps food options way more exciting than just eating the same three or four meals each week. If you'd like to try HelloFresh for yourself, you can get 50% off your first box and 35% off your next three boxes, as well as three free gifts using my code, Liam. So yeah, head through the link in the description to check out HelloFresh. The eagle has landed. Here I am. <laughs> hmm. Let's do this. Yeah, I thought we could go through a quick spot of lunch. Okay. Reunited. <laughs> yeah, I'm just crossing the street while filming. I actually didn't need to get run over yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, one of the things I'm definitely going to miss a huge amount about living in Paris is the alfresco dining culture. I absolutely love just being able to grab a quick drink or something to eat outside pretty much wherever you are in the city, just right outside in the street. It's an amazing bit of Parisianness that I've grown to really love. I'm just going to get my hanging stuff. We're out of here. <laughs> <sighs> So this is it. Yep. It's a big farewell. The grand au revoir. It's been great. Bye Paris flat. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. After you, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> checking. Still checking. Like this. <laughs> I'm broken. Great job. Are you ready for this? Not jungle in the back. Very ready. Let's do it. Like good British cures, we're nicely in line, but we are two and a half hours early for our ferry. So somewhat of a wait ahead until 8.01 p.m. But hey, we can sit tight, jam together, have a great time. Beth and I haven't seen each other for a while. So, you know, just catch up on, on life, make the most of our time sat in the car together. Not that we've already had two and a half hours sat in the car catching up. On board the ferry, Beth is ready and raring to go. And this is it, my last little farewell to French soil for a while, after six months. And uh, yeah, what six months it's been. So yeah. So, we have arrived on dry land. Ooh, so we have just made it back to Greenwich and all of my stuff is everywhere. But it's really like amazing to be home. Um, I am obviously definitely gonna miss Paris, but I'm definitely not gonna miss being away from Beth. So yeah, happy to be back in London. I've had an incredible six months, um, some really great times, met some amazing people. And I think I would encourage anyone who has opportunities to work abroad or just do something different for a few months, 
just take it. Even if you're in a relationship, even if you think, oh, but like life is comfortable and easy at home and I could just avoid so much stress and everything by just staying in my comfortable life. They are incredible opportunities and I've had an amazing six months and I've learned a huge amount from being in a different country. I've got to practice my French and I've kind of discovered this like different way of working. Honestly, like French work culture has been hugely revelatory for me and I've definitely got a ton of things I want to bring back to my life here in London. But for now, I am very happy to be home and have a whole load of unpacking to do. I'll stop this video here. I hope you enjoyed coming on the day with me and Beth, and I will speak to you again very soon. Au revoir, Paris.